What's up guys, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you my recipe for lobster garlic noodles. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell and enable notifications as well. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen, let's make it happen. We're gonna start by making our sauce, which is gonna start with one tablespoon of soy sauce and one tablespoon of dark soy sauce. If you can't find the dark soy sauce, you can use two tablespoons of regular soy sauce, no big deal. Also one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and two tablespoons of oyster sauce. The traditional recipe calls for fish sauce, but I am substituting that with the Worcestershire sauce because I don't like fish sauce. But you know, do your own thing, whatever works for you. Also going in with a very little bit of sesame oil. Remember guys, a little bit goes a long way with that stuff. So just use maybe a quarter to an eighth of a teaspoon. Really just like a very little bit is all you need. Get in there with your whisk, mix everything together. And then we're going in with some brown sugar and some crushed red pepper flakes. As always guys, the specific measurements and ingredients can be found in the description box below. So don't forget to check that out. Looking good. The sauce is packed with flavor. It's gonna infuse a ton of flavor into these garlic noodles. This dish was made popular in San Francisco and a lot of restaurants like Yard House and places like that have uh, you know, made it even more popular and a lot more common to find on, on menus out there. So if you've never tried it, I definitely suggest giving this a try. Next, we're gonna dice up some green onions, both the white part and the green part. No discrimination on our onion parts. We're gonna use the whites and the greens here. So just give it a nice rough chop. No right or wrong way to do this. Looking good. Aladdin's eventually gonna ask me for this knife back, but until then, we're gonna keep using it. All right, so that's you know a few stalks of green onion there. We're also gonna need a whole head of garlic, probably eight or nine cloves, depending on how large the garlic pieces are. This is garlic noodles, guys, so we need to pack the garlic in there. Take your knife and smash the garlic down, makes it a lot easier to peel. Like so. You can use the jarred stuff if you have to, but I'd highly suggest using fresh garlic just because it has so much more flavor. And again, the garlic is one of the key components of this dish. So, you know, don't make any shortcuts on that. Here we go. We're gonna peel garlic for about an hour. Just kidding guys, it's not that bad. There's some tricks online and, you know, different ways that you can make that a little bit faster of a process too. Next, we want to dice it up real nice and fine. You want a real, real fine dice on this. You can also break out the garlic mincer or the garlic press and just, you know, mince the garlic that way as well. Even throw it in a food processor. There's a ton of ways to get this done. But for the sake of demonstration, I'm going with the old school knife technique here. Just rock and chop back and forth until you have nice fine pieces of garlic. Next up is our lobster tails. We have four beautiful lobster tails here that are defrosted. I'm gonna show you guys how to prep these. We're gonna take our kitchen scissors and cut down the underside of the lobster tail all the way down to the tail, as you see me doing right here. And then we're gonna take our knife and go down that same incision that we made and just press down until we crack through the other side of the shell. Next, we're gonna take our scissors and just finish the job off there. Basically what we're doing is butterflying this lobster tail or splitting it in two pieces. It's gonna make for a nice presentation. And you can control the portion size a little bit better. So that's how we're looking. You can definitely impress your house guests with this presentation that we're putting together here today. All right, today we're using Bucatini noodles. If you've never used these before, they're a lot like spaghetti, but as you can see there, they're hollow in the middle. And that's important because being that the noodles are hollow, the sauce really has the opportunity to kind of penetrate into the noodle. And it's just my favorite noodle to use for this recipe. But you can use spaghetti, linguine, really any noodle that you like. Next, we're gonna go ahead and cook these lobster tails. I'm going down in a skillet with a couple tablespoons of good quality butter. I like Kerrygold grass-fed butter. And then we're putting the lobster tails in their flesh side down first and just looking to develop some color once the lobster tails hit 145 degrees internal temperature you know they're safe to eat but right now it's all about just getting some of that butter flavor in there hit it with a little seasoning some salt and pepper something like that don't need to get too crazy because the noodles are packed with flavor 
Oh man, look at that. A little lobster food porn for you guys. Nothing like butter and lobster. Man, that looks good. Look at the color developed there. All right, break out your wok or a deep frying pan. We're going in with two tablespoons of butter and some avocado oil or vegetable oil, whatever you got there. That's a nice trick because that oil will help prevent the butter from burning. And we need that because we're gonna slowly infuse this garlic flavor into our sauce. So we're working over low heat here. And again, we got two tablespoons of butter, some avocado oil, and then all of that garlic. And we're just gonna slow play this for a couple of minutes to just really let that garlic infuse in there. Looking good, your house is gonna be smelling amazing. Unless you hate garlic and then, you know, you're clicked on the wrong uh, thumbnail today. But this recipe is delicious, guys. Definitely give it a try. Going in with the whites of our green onion. Give that a nice mix. Allow those flavors to come together. Next, we're pouring in the sauce that we made earlier. I'm going to bring that up to a simmer. Things start moving kind of quick here. Once we reach that simmer, we're going to add in our noodles that we've already boiled, cook them to package instructions, of course. Again, guys, all the specific measurements and ingredients can be found in the description box below. Now it's time to go in with those bucatini noodles and just toss them about, let them absorb that delicious sauce that we made. So much flavor in this recipe, guys. This is one of my favorite dishes. Super easy to make, too. Only a few ingredients. You don't have to use lobster. You can make this a little bit cheaper with some shrimp or some leftover chicken, something like that. Or really, you could serve it without any meat at all. Just serve it as a side dish. Looking good. Next, we're going in with one cup of grated Parmesan cheese. I'm not talking about the green can that you have in your fridge that you put on your pizza. You want to get some really good quality Parmesan cheese for this. Definitely makes a difference in the recipe. So we're going in with that grated Parmesan cheese. We're gonna turn the heat off at this point and garnish it with some more green onion and some red pepper flakes for just a little pop of heat. Totally optional. If you don't like spice, obviously you can leave that out. Give it one final mix and then we're gonna plate this up. We're gonna garnish it with that lobster tail that we cooked beautifully earlier. A little bit more diced green onion for a pop of color. A little bit more red pepper flakes, because why the hell not? And I'm going to find my fork and dig in here. Brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Here we go with the taste test, guys. Got to see how this is tasting. As I fumble around with the noodles, forgive me. Oh, man. That is super flavorful. Got to get a piece of that lobster too. Look how easy that comes out of the shell. That lets you know that it's cooked properly. Any day now, Matt. There you go. All right, guys, that's my recipe for garlic lobster noodles. Let me know in the comments what you think. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.